The Dubai World Cup takes place on Saturday the 30th of March, a day when top-class international competitors make their way to Maidan to take on the local heroes on the turf and dirt tracks. It's going to be a spectacle not to be missed. The Godolphin Mile is the first thoroughbred race on World Cup night and last year's winner Isolate will be towards the head of the market after his facile success on Festive Friday where he made every yard of the running to beat the consistent golden goal by three and a half lengths under a well-judged ride from Tyler Gaffleone. This was his first run for nine months and he's sure to strip fitter on the big night. Last one, Desert Wisdom, they swing into the straight and it is Isolate up in front. Tyler Gaffleone goes for the Persuader here and Isolate shoots clear by two or three lengths here on Golden Goal. Running on into the race here, Mimi Kakushi. She throws up the white flag being passed now by Celtic Prince, but the market got it spot on here. Isolate is going to draw away for a very easy win and Tyler Gaffleone gets his first winner back here in Dubai for the season. Isolate went on to disappoint in the Saudi Cup where he finished a long way behind Saudi Crown. He ran a tremendous race only to be caught in the dying strides by two horses who will compete in the Dubai World Cup, Senior Buscador and Ushbar Tesora. Treasure a length down. Derma Sotagake in the light blue is on the outside now of the pushed along Isolate. Carmel Road comes next. Several are flat here with defunded. Ushbar Tesoro is making quite a lot of ground, but it's Saudi Crown who has the advantage from National Treasure. Ushbar Tesoro from a mile back continues to stay on. Also staying on strongly is Senor Buscador out in front. Saudi Crown with 150 meters to last still has the lead. National Treasure Ushbar Tesoro late on the scene and right down the outside. Senor Buscador, the lead is taken by Ushbar but right on the line, Senor Buscador might have tipped him out. Certainly the rider thinks so, Senor Buscador and Ushbar Tesoro over the top of Saudi Crown and National Treasure. And those were clear from Derna Sotagake, Crown Pride was next. Isolate looks the one to beat on the night. Now he comes back in trip and back to Maidan, where he acts so well. The Dubai Gold Cup is race three on the card and impressive Saudi scorer Tower of London is likely to go well. He was lucky to get up and win in Saudi Ryan Moore, extricating him from a poor position two furlongs out and there could be plenty more to come. Giovinotto as well, now Tower of London. Giovinotto times in, joins enemy Tower of London's, had a torrid trip. Can he put it out of the fire? Enemy Giovinotto dying on the run. Tower of London's going to travel late. Tower of London getting to enemy Tower of London in the final bound. Got out of jail, I think. It didn't part like the Red Sea for him, but he's won anyway. Siskani will represent the Charlie Appleby team and he was second in this race last year. He's won twice at the track at this year's carnival, posting fast closing sectionals, and he's sure to put up a strong challenge once again. As El Naya takes over, Rakis, the inside, Dahabi looking to pick up. Gallerist still with a shot here. Inside the 150, El Naya, Gallerist, Siskaini when it's all too late. Siskaini down the outside, El Naya holds on tight. Oh, photo finish, maybe Siskaini. Siskaini, maybe a short margin. Star of Mystery heads the market for the Alcos Sprint after her win on Fashion Friday, where she came from the back of the field to run down all of her rivals in the closing stages. Look at Star of Mystery. Star of Mystery flying up to the outside of Pontos. Levels up, goes on pie. She's a nice filly. She's a fast filly. Star of Mystery, too good. She was beaten, however, on Super Saturday, racing away from her main rival, Frost at Dawn, who has been a revelation this carnival for trainer William Knight and who broke the long-standing course record set by Ertijal in 2017. She looks like she's got a good advantage here, Frosted Dawn, and continuing. Frosted Dawn here with the 54 and a half, coming up here with the other filly and star of mystery who's trying to chase her down. Frosted Dawn gets a well-deserved victory. Frosted Dawn, three on the line, and the fillies go one, two. The UAE Derby will have a strong foreign challenge but Mendelssohn Bay, whose sire won this race by 18 lengths in 2018, and Killer Collect will renew their rivalry after Bupat Simar's charge got the better of the argument on Fashion Friday. 
Mendelssohn Bay finding links here. Mendelssohn Bay under Pat Cosgrave here in the UAE 2000 guineas. He's given them the slip. Mendelssohn Bay for suited and booted racing. Mendelssohn Bay gets the UAE 2000 guineas and does it well. Beats home a very brave killer collect. He was in the cheap seats the whole way. Killer Collect went on to edge out Autobahn in a tremendous dirt duel as they went head to head and toe to toe in the home straight. And Autobahn is back for more. The outside though really putting it to Killer Collect. Killer Collect still in with a fight here on the inside. Killer Collect now regaining the lead here off Autobahn who's trying to fight. Killer Collect the rail. Autobahn the outside. A real good head to head tussle here in the Albasta Kia. Killer Collect trying ever so hard and nabs him. Killer Collect, tough as you like. The local challenge for the Golden Shaheen is headed by Muhi, who won impressively at the track on Fashion Friday, closing in off strong sectionals to run down the leaders. Still with six to seven lengths to pick up from leading Spirit Bowl Maui star and Worko up on the inside. Rawi continues to kick here from Freedom Fighter. Lower River not making much inroads at this point in time. Look at Muheeb down the outside starting to present here. Muheeb in the shake up mid colours, storming up on the outside here past the 100 metres and he puts this to bed. Muheeb for Tom Marquand and Michael Costa goes on to record an impressive win. Seven on the line. Tuz disappointed in Saudi Arabia last time. Before that, in early January, he put in a ridiculous performance to clear away from his rivals by eight lengths, breaking from a wide draw. He's going to take a power of chasing down, leading spirit and colour up, trying to eat into the margin, but it's another big, big margin winner for Taigo Shea and Bupat Sima. Tuz absolutely brains them. Tuz by seven, beats home leading spirit. The Charlie Appleby trained measured time has been one of the stories of the carnival, putting in two scintillating displays on the turf. His only defeat came at 12 furlongs, and he is now a Group 1 winner after his Jevil Hatter win over this course and distance. San Donato still spots the leader the best part of 18 or 19 lengths. They make their way down the side section of the course and it is up in front here still rolling along Highland Avenue leading by six or seven lengths here. Moors into second starting to chase the stable mate here now. Up into third still rolling into it as well was measured time followed by Salawi then came still about six lengths off the leader was Spirit Dancer from Erzin Jan El Patriota takes the inside passage. Ottoman Fleet starting to get warm down the outside. San Donato having to come off his heels this time. No inside runs at this point in time as measured time takes over. Measured time at the 200 metres from Ottoman Fleet starting to level up. Spirit Dancer. Moores gets checked for a run. San Donato trying to run on. Measured time. Measured time steals the Jebel Hatter. Measured time goes on to win well. Two lengths here in the Jebel Hatter beats Ottoman Fleet. Lord North returns, aiming for a record extending fourth victory in this race. But could a big threat come from within his own stable in the form of Nashua? The nine furlong trip could prove optimal for this talented man. In the Shima Classic this year, August Rodin looks to be Europe's leading hope, coming off the back of a fiercely impressive win in the Breeders' Cup turf under a rail skimming ride from Ryan Moore. Up to the mark, takes him on with a furlong to run, and then comes Shariar, but a goose Rodin under a perfect ride from Ryan Moore will win the Breeders' Cup turf. Rebels Romance is also a Breeders' Cup turf winner, and he made all to win at Doha last time out. Rebels Romance with another 100 metres to go. Rebels Romance is clear, racing the line. Rebels Romance takes his hiding in the trophy. Shreya also deserves a mention as he returns to try and regain his crown after victory in the 2022 renewal. The Dubai World Cup for 2024 is the feature event on the night and the Japanese have two live contenders in the form of defending champion Ushbar Tesoro and last year's UAE derby winner Derma Sotogaki. But both of those horses were beaten in the Saudi Cup by American runner Senor Buscador. A strong local hand will be played in this race in the form of Kabi Khan, who has won twice at the Carnival, most recently in the Group 1 Al Maktoum Challenge 
as they make their way into the straight here in the Al Maktoum Challenge. And it is Kabir Khan up on the outside here of Walk of Stars, who starts to lengthen now. Clapton with the job to chase down the Russian. Then came on the inside, working up into it, Franz Strauss, Desert Wisdom, fighting for minor placings here, though. But the Kazakhstani, the Russian, he's off. Kabir Khan, he has got the Al Maktoum Challenge sewn up here. Kabir Khan continues his undefeated streak here in the Middle East. Wins by five lengths. It looks like it's going to be another fantastic Dubai World Cup night. Catch all the action live on Racing TV on Saturday the 30th of March. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.